When my father began turning, the pieces he was making were probably little bitty cups and plates, maybe four inches in diameter. But I think he had this urge to see, could he go bigger than that? And instead of just flat pieces or just shallow pieces, he was able to make pieces that would actually curve over and he could hollow out. He invented his own tools and actually used a forge and an anvil to bend these tools and make the tools that he felt would help him in this turning process. When my grandfather was creating this process, these tools did not exist, and so he was learning along the way. What you see us use today is an adaption of, of what he created in the beginning. He basically had to fabricate his own designs. I'm always marveled at how he came up with a lot of these things. You have to visualize it. You have a five or 800 pound log here rotating. He was known probably best for the large pieces because some of them were probably uh, almost four feet in diameter and maybe uh, three and a half feet tall. So this log, I, the original log mounted on lathe probably weighed 2,000 pounds. When I was a child, we would go over to my grandfather's house, my brother and I. There was a piece uh, was photographed of, uh, of his, a large globe shape. And in the piece, you couldn't tell the scale of it, so they put an apple next to the piece. And it didn't do it justice for how big it was. People still didn't get the concept of these were really large architectural sized shapes. And so he put me inside the piece. It was almost unbelievable to see a turned object that large and that refined. My grandfather actually posed in some of them as well, some of the really giant turnings.